We would like to begin by acknowledging the Peramunk people, traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today, and pay our respects to their elders past and present. We extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today. Hi, welcome to the CFS State Training Centre here at Brakunga, and I'd like to thank you today for giving up your time for training. I understand that many of you have taken leave from employers and you've given up your leisure time from friends and family, but at the end of your training, community safety is our focus and your brigade is going to be so better prepared. Thank you. Just like our duty to keep the community safe, our priority here at the State Training Centre is also safety, and we all have a duty of care to keep it that way. Please listen to these key safety points, which will be of value to you during your stay here. If you have any pre-existing injuries or health concerns, please be sure to notify your training coordinator. Good hygiene is important. Throughout our facilities, you will find spray bottles used to wipe down tables, stationery and equipment after use. You will also find hand sanitizer and alcohol wipes. Please return these to where you originally found them. Let's keep everybody safe. Here, we need to protect ourselves from smoke, heat and other contaminants. In here, we need to protect ourselves from the byproducts of firefighting that stays on our PPE. Collectively, let's make sure we're not wearing our contaminated PPE into the classroom, dining room and accommodation areas. As it's important to look after all of our gear and rooms. Isn't that right, John? What have I done? <laughs> State Training Centre opened in 1989. Since that time, systems, facilities and equipment have developed and will continue to develop. It's up to all of us to maintain them and keep them in the best possible condition. Some areas around the training facilities are high-risk areas, and as part of your training, you will come across some pretty testing tasks that will test you mentally and physically. But it's just the start to what you can experience out there. In the unlikely event of a near-miss accident or you identify a hazard, please ensure you report it. We ask that you stay within your allocated training areas while you're at the State Training Centre. Before I came to Australia, no one told me about the snakes, the bees, the wasps and those swooping magpies. It's important that we all stay vigilant while at the State Training Centre. Please stay within the designated areas and pathways while at State Training Centre. This will also help to preserve the vegetation. Always be cautious and use your initiative by being mindful of your surroundings. The State Training Centre is a forever changing environment. For assistance in navigating our facilities, please visit the About page on the Volunteer Portal. It's here you will find a site map and a 360 degree virtual tour of the grounds and buildings. At the State Training Centre, we have a designated smoking area. Please put your butts in the containers provided. We don't want to start any fires. In the case of an emergency, please make your way to the Barter Recommissioning Building located in the top car park. If you're staying overnight, please be respectful of each other. We're proud of the training centre and what we have to offer, and we want you to have the best experience. For your safety, there's a smoke detector located in every room. These detectors are sensitive to smoke, shower steam, aerosol sprays, dust and dirt, and can set off the alarm. Please don't panic. You have 90 seconds to clear the smoke detector. Otherwise, the local CFS brigade will be on their way. On the last morning of your stay, please strip your bed and place your linen and your towel on the bathroom floor. Leave the quilt and the pillow placed on the bed. We ask that the towels get placed on the bathroom floor as they can make the carpet damp. If you are an overnight guest, before you leave, ensure your bedroom window is closed. The air conditioner and lights are switched off and leave your bedroom door open. When checking out, return your keys directly to your session coordinator. 
We acknowledge your efforts and time in attending training. As a member of the CFS, you are entitled to be reimbursed for your personal vehicle travel. Please see the session coordinator for the relevant form. We're here to support you and we have helped many students with language, literacy and numeracy needs. If you have any reading and writing difficulties and you would rather tell us your answers instead of writing them, that's okay, tell us. Your trainers are happy to accommodate your learning needs. Or maybe you need a little more time learning or extra time with your assessment. That's also okay, we are here to support you. We are proud of you, STC and the training we provide. You may see people running around with video cameras or a camera capturing you taking part in training. The footage may be used in social media, newsletters, our volunteer portal or other promotional events. If you don't want your photo taken, please let your trainer know. Show us your support by following and liking us on our Facebook page. Here you will be kept up to date with all the relevant news and courses. And you might be able to spot yourself. This engagement goes a long way in helping the exposure of the State Training Centre and the Country Fire Service community. Do you know what you're doing with that thing, mate? I'm checking out my Facebook. Have you liked the State Training Centre Facebook page yet? I have. Awesome, let's go, I'm hungry. <laughs>